Hi, today I will show you again an ice disk station kit. It's a small infrared reversing indicator, do-it-yourself kit, adjustable infrared sensor distance measuring module. Item ID on the web page is 13278, but on the bag 286230. As I noticed, it seems IC station renumbering its item IDs, that's why I mentioned both of them. If you don't understand why I deal with item numbers, that is the fastest method for me later to search on the web page an item. I enter a five digits number and it is open very quickly. So let's see the web page, the title I have read. It is not just in action, very cheap. Here you can see the components, the board, the ready-made, circuit if you hold this in this manner when you can read the component labels then the upper is the black photo element and the lower is the white it is important because you cannot see the infrared led and that's why it is important to put in good position well there are three red leds it's easy to see and let's see again of the other, yes and the bottom side it is not poor cooper luckily thin cover it. I like it much more. So here you can see what can you do with it. It is a good application for your car at the back. If you drive backward then and uh, reclose a wall or any object then you can use it. It says basically at 30 centimeters LED 3 will on, 20 centimeter LED 2 will on, 10 centimeters LED, one wheel on. It's working from 5 to 9 volt, recommended is 5 volts. There are two trim pots for adjusting the sensitivity and the distance. And here you can see a lot of components. Here is the picture of the ready-made circuit, again. And someone tested it already, so I'm not the first guy who deals with this board. And here is a video also. I have seen it, and at the beginning he said a big mistake. And by measuring time delay between emitting the light and receiving it, it can determine how far the object is. He said this device working to measuring the time delay between the light is started and reflected and arrived back to the board. But let's see the connection diagram. Here you can see all the components are very low speed, low frequency elements. So it is not able to receive the time delay on 10, 20 or 30 centimeters because the light can go 300,000 kilometers per second. So this time is unmeasurable with such a small elements and cheap devices. The working principle of this circuit is much different. It measures the reflected light intensity. If it is very close, then the intensity is higher. If it is farther, then the intensity is lower. And to avoid the static light from the measurement, like the sun or lamps or anything else, it has a 555 oscillator, which produces a audio frequency, as I heard it in the video, signal onto the infrared LED. And this fast audio frequency blinking is received from after the reflection with this infrared photosensitive element and produce an audio frequency. And with this amplifier, you can amplify it so at the output you will receive a higher amplitude and here you can see peak rectifier so as higher the input signal as higher the output signal and as higher the dc level which is produced at this point and here you can see this chip contains four amplifiers one used as an amplifier and the remaining three are used as comparators and here you can see a voltage divider This is the lower voltage, the middle voltage and the higher voltage and you can set these voltages with VR1 trim pot and if 
the rectified value is higher than the value on the voltage divider, then this comparator will produce a low level, which is ground in this case, and this LED will on via this resistor to the power supply. And as higher the voltage, comparators turn off the output and the off means ground level so the LEDs are on. It means that if this LED is on that all the previous should be also on. And here you can set with this VR2 the amplification of this amplifier. So that's the principle of this circuit and let's see what is in the bag. A nice silk screened PCB with thin copper soldering side. No, it's a socket, so you have to solder the ICs. Be careful the positions, it is marked on the board. So, in this case, if you can read the labels then it is in good position and there are a lot of resistors the transmitter is this this is an infra LED and this is the receiver it has a special color to avoid the normal visible light. Here is a power connector. And here is a small wire. Okay, let's assemble it. Now the circuit is ready, let's test it. Luckily I have the same connector on my power supply. Maybe it is in the opposite. Be careful because 
here you can see this is the minus and this is the plus sign. So and the S, the, the minus is on the ground and the plus is somewhere else. And if you see this and insert it, then the red will be the minus side and the black will be the positive side. So this, if you apply this cable according to the colors, then you will destroy the circuit. So it's a wrong connector was assembled wrongly but don't throw it away you can repair it easily you have to press this side and then pull out and change them so you can remove it now I removed both of them okay it's a little difficult because Okay, now it. Yeah. So, if you insert it now, then it will be okay. Red is the positive, black is the negative. Luckily, my power supply has the right colors and the right polarity. So, and oh. And it's working. How can I show you? Yes. So <laughs> now it is it is on because the camera is above. <laughs> so that's my problem. How can I how can I uh, eliminate the camera effect? So it's working fine. Where is the voltmeter? And the power supply is 5 volt. Okay. And now on this D1 cathode, you can measure the voltage. Now the camera is a little higher and I set it to do not sense the distance between the board and the camera. So now it is working. Let's measure the voltage on C4. It's 0.1 volt. So now it is working. Let's measure the frequency of the 555 oscillator on pin 3. We can measure it and it is 500 Hz as you can see. That is hearable on the other video. But that is a measurement. So I'm saying that was enough from this small board. Don't forget you can buy it also on icstation.com. The link is in the description. I hope it will be valid in the future. And if you like this video, thumbs up, press the like icon. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, and if you think it will be interesting for you in the future, then please do it. And thank you for your watching. Have a nice day and goodbye.